to sum up and provide uh, a reflection uh, on the session, uh, I'll call uh, Tania Simpson, uh, the Chair of the Sustainable Seas Governance Group, uh, to do that for us. Uh, the name of this session that we've, uh, we've just experienced is Mauri Tangata. And it reminds me of a kiwaha, um, Metiaki Kwe to Mauri. Mato Mauri Kwe Tiaki. If you take care of your Mauri, it takes care of you. And, and that's the Mauri in you, but it's the Mauri in your environment and everything else as well. And so we've had a good demonstration of that through the projects that have been presented to us today. And in Mauri in all of its forms, and it's very hard to translate, and the, the life force, the vitality, the energy, the vibration, the, the source of well-being, and as Tana described, the sense of purpose, is evident through the research kaupapa that have been put forward today. Uh, another aspect that's very evident is that in Mātauranga Māori for Māori researchers, we are of it and we are in it and we are for it. We are not separate to it or apart from it, uh, analysing something. So that very personal connection came through strongly in all of that research. Mātauranga Māori, I think we, we've seen what happens or what can happen when Mātauranga Māori is elevated within the science and research space. When, it's, when the barriers to participation are removed for Māori and when Mātauranga Māori can take its own space. We saw the joined up nature of the uh, research activity, Mātauranga Māori alongside science, alongside research tools and methodologies, alongside the stories, the whakapapa, alongside the partnerships, the communities, the end users, and that has been the goal of this challenge. We've seen the value and richness of what happens when it all comes together. And for too long, Mātauranga Māori has been excluded and undermined and undervalued and ignored. And these projects tell us why that is foolish. We saw with, with Tangaro Ararau Beth and, and Te Puoho that Mātauranga Māori needs to be at all spaces and all places, policy and legislation where they're working, the ability to influence what happens in policy and legislation to become a treaty compliant nation and to develop frameworks that are deeply rooted in Mātauranga Māori. We need people operating in those spaces and informing those spaces as much as we need people in the ocean doing the mahi. With Afi Mai and Afi Atu, Kura and the team, uh, really got a strong sense of the matters of the heart. And it, it took me back to visiting Ohiwa Harbour with Hirini Melbourne when we made a film about the preservation of the traditional kaimwana, dehydrating um, traditional kaimwana using traditional means. And I thought he would really love this. He would love to see what's going on now as a con continuation of what has happened in the past, including um, Ati's contributions with the poetry and the storytelling, because all of that is part of how we roll. And so it was beautiful to see that. And I also thought, imagine if we had this approach on all of the harbours in all of our country turning the tide of degradation, it just shows us what's possible. With toi tū te mana whenua me te mana moana, uh, I must mihi to you all for coming to the conference when you have experienced such an enormous impact on 
Te Tai Rāwhiti's coastline. We know the struggles that you've been going through and the fact that you are able to continue to participate here with us today and the long way round that you've had to travel to get here. Um, I extend a big mihi to us all for the efforts that you've made. Um, but it's an, a strong illustration, the work that you're doing of mana whenua, mana tangata, mana moana, that joined up approach and putting research in its rightful place, which is to support the kaupapa of the people and their care of their environment. And that hapu-led research partnerships. Because often we get it around the other, the other way and the research takes priority and the people are kind of somewhere down the, the ladder. Whakaika te moana, te rerekohu tuterangi fiu, that look into the past to the knowledge and practices that guide our future. The whakapapa that we experience to the past that helps take us into the future and the wisdom that comes from that. And those simple truths, like just focus on the quality of the water, actually so, you know, so right. That's such, such a right thing to be thinking about. We started the day with Pelika um, Arate, uh, and she was talking to us about being present and observing and making the realities ours and using multiple knowledge systems and tools and understanding what is the story and how do we see things. Actually, I think we've seen that reflected through all of the projects. And you know in your puku when something is right. And my body reacted to what I was hearing. As a Māori, my shoulders went back a little bit and things sort of awoke um, because it was speaking my language. And so that tells me that um, things have aligned well, that the mahi that's going on is the kind of mahi that is going to take us um, into the future in a, in a way that is tika. And tika was described to me by Maiko Matua that it mean when something is tika, it's like shooting an arrow at a um, at a target, and it flies in a true and correct direction. That's tika, is what he said, and and I think that alignment of all of the people in all of the right places doing all of the right things creates that environment where things are tika. So I feel confident that our tupuna um, would be pleased. And that, for me, is one of the key indicators of how effective our research is. So I mihi to you all, tēnā koutou katoa, uh, for all of the work that you do. And um, I'm confident that when we, as we share it all, it will have lasting effects and impacts into the future. So tēnā koutou katoa. <laughs>